words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hello, welcome to day 28 of the Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. And uh, today I want to deal with the topic of lowering yourself. Now, um, one way this happens is through demeaning people. Uh, when you demean others, it's self-demeaning, okay? Meaning that whenever you speak down to others, you're actually speaking down to yourself, and it's having the same effect. Uh, let's look at the word demeaning, okay? The word demeaning means uh, basically lowering or damaging or lowering the character or the reputation of someone, uh, also causing someone to lose their dignity and the respect of others. So, um, in essence, demeaning is causing others to lose respect or damaging the reputation of others. Now, a speaker of LaShawn Hora uh, trains himself uh, in bitterness. And he also trains himself in complaining. What, what I mean by this is that when a person that is speaking Lashon Hora, whether they realize it or not, the roots of this is in bitterness or it's in complaining. And what you end up doing is you demean people in the process, but you're actually damaging your own reputation. Let me give you the probably the best example of demeaning but not with people but to God let me explain in numbers 13 the children of Israel spoke against God now how did that happen God said I want you to take 12 spies and I want you to go spy out the land which I have given you that's the key word I have key phrase I have given you I have given you this land and I want you to go and spy that land out okay so, they go out. Ten say, we are not able. We've seen these giants. We are not able to do this. We are not able to take on this thing. This is ridiculous. There's no way. And see, here's the problem. In doing so, what they were doing, what they thought they were speaking against the giants in the land, what they were actually doing was speaking against themselves. And by speaking against themselves, they were actually speaking against God. Because God said, I've given you this land. He didn't ask whether or not they could take the land. He said, go spy out the land which I have given you. That's the difference. And so what they ended up doing was they began to demean what God had said. They began to demean themselves by saying, we're not able to. And as a result, they were demeaning God. Then in the next chapter, they start demeaning Moses. And they start getting after Moses. And they start saying, look, Moses, you brought us out here to die. Now they're complaining about everything. And only two men said, hey, we are more than able to go get this land. Well, guess what? Those that said they weren't able to didn't even get in the land at all. But those who said they were able to got the land. 
demeaning people, when we demean people, it's because there's something in us. We have to understand that evil speech uh, looks past what God is saying about a situation. Again, God said, look, <laughs> go spy out the land which I've given you. But they didn't, they didn't hear what God had to say. They were demeaning themselves and as a process, damaging the reputation of God, that God wasn't going to be faithful. And did you know that the Jews still believe to this day the reason why they didn't get into the land was because of the very fact they spoke Lashon Hora against God. Well, guess what? There's other ways that we deal with this. And it's the principles of unforgiveness. For instance, God says you have to forgive this person, but we will look past what God says and we say, well, we have a right to feel this way. Well, guess what? That's demeaning God. You're saying what he says is not valuable. You're saying what he says is not right. You're saying what he says is not worthy. You're... And in the process, you're damaging your own self. You're actually damaging your own reputation. You're, you're actually hurting yourself. You are damaging your own life in this principle. And so a person of evil speech looks past what God says and follows his emotions of fear, anger, and on and on and on. And it's like this constant cycle. Now, Shimrush Halashan, the good speech, what it does, it allows you to see what God sees. See, this was the difference between uh, uh, Caleb and, 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 and them, the, 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 two, the two spies that said, were able, they were seeing what God saw. They weren't lowering the reputation of God. They weren't lowering the, 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 the value of God and what He said. And, and as a result, they weren't lowering themselves. They said, listen, we are able to do this. The other ten spies said, we aren't able to do it. They were diminishing themselves because they couldn't see what God was saying. But Joshua and Caleb is like, man, we're able to do this. We are able. We are able. They were able to see what God said about the situation, and as a result, they got it. Demeaning people is rooted through emotional or negative, I should say, negative emotions, fear, uh, anger, hostility. Mostly fear, though. I'll, I'll say I'll say it's mostly fear because we're afraid, we're insecure, and so we have this insecurity and this fear level in us that says, you know what, I'm just not able to do that. And so, in the process, what you end up doing is you demean others in the process. You know, that's what's going on in our nation today, man. We can't even have a civil conversation. You can't even present facts to anything. People get, people get upset and they get mad and they start demeaning people. And as a result, we start lowering society. We start lowering humanity. We start lowering everything. But Shimrush Halashan, the good speech, what it does it starts raising people up. It starts raising things in a good way, not in a bad way. It starts lifting people up. And that's the thing. And this, this takes us to the New Testament. <clears throat> Let your words be of edification. Whatever things are pure, whatever things are just, whatever things are holy, whatever things... Meditate, think, say these things. Edifying one another. Lift people up. Because when you lift people up, you're also lifting yourself up. But when you're demeaning people, you're lowering yourself. You and I have such a responsibility with our words. We set the course of action. We raise up, we tear down. We build up, we tear down. We speak life, we speak death. 
And so what I want you to focus on today, how am I viewing what God says? Because how am I, how I'm viewing what God says is going to determine my fears or my faith. And as a result, it's going to determine if I'm going to be demeaning or if I'm going to be uplifting. The next time you catch yourself maybe saying something you shouldn't say in demeaning people, I want you to really maybe put a stop to it, number one. Catch yourself. Hopefully you don't do it, but if you do do it, I want you to ask yourself, why am I doing this? What am I afraid of? What emotion is coming out of me to where I'm speaking evil and lowering somebody? Because in the process, you're also lowering yourself. And that's the danger of Lashon Hora and evil speech. Be a lifter. Be one that lifts up, edifies, lifts up people with their words. Speak truth in love. It always works, all right? Hey, we'll see you next time on The Essence of Man and The Power of Speech.